Let's consider an ensemble of quantum system, for example, hydrogen atoms at thermal equilibrium. Depending on the temperature, the systems will be in the ground or in excited states. At low temperatures, most systems will be in the ground state, and at higher temperatures, larger and larger populations will be in excited states. Quantitatively, this is described by the Boltzmann distribution. It is given by nj is proportional to gj times e to the negative ej divided by kbt. In this equation, ej is the energy of the energy levels, gj is the degeneracy of this energy level, that is the number of states that have the same energy, ej, and nj is the number of systems that are in, that in one of those states. kb is the Boltzmann constant, and t is the temperature in Kelvin. kbt is the average thermal energy available to the systems. The degeneracy is the number of states that have identical energy, ej. For example, in this set of energy levels, we have one state for each energy. Therefore, the degeneracies are one for each energy level. There, the states are non-degenerate. In this set of energy levels, on the other hand, there are degeneracies. The ground state is doubly degenerate, g1 equals 2. The first excited state is non-degenerate, and the second excited state is triply degenerate. There are three states that have the same energy. Using this first equation, we can compare the populations of two different levels. The ratio of the populations is Ni over Nj, and it is equal to the ratio of degeneracies, Gi over Gj, times an exponential that contains Ei minus Ej, which is the energy difference, divided by kBt, the thermal energy. Given the energy difference and the temperature, we can, and the degeneracies, we can therefore calculate the ratio of populations of two energy levels. Visually, it looks like this. Take a simple two-level system, consisting of energy E1 and E2, and let's denote the energy difference with delta E. If kBT is much smaller than delta E, Thermal energy is not sufficient to promote any system into an excited state. All systems will be in a ground state. If kBT is on the order of delta E, some of the systems will be in an excited state. Lastly, if kBT is much larger than delta E, this is called the high temperature limit, both states will have equal populations. For systems with many energy levels, the behavior is analogous. The higher the temperature, the more excited states get populated. Let's plot the energies on the vertical axis and the populations on the horizontal axis. And let's take a discrete energy spectrum. At low temperatures, mostly the lowest states will be occupied. At higher temperatures, higher states will be populated as well, and the lower states will be depopulated relative to the low temperature case. Remember that this Boltzmann distribution only applies on the thermal equilibrium.